In Loki Season 1, Tom Hiddleston not only portrayed several incarnations of the God of Mischief, but he also came close to portraying a Kang the Conqueror variant. The entrance of He Who Remains, Jonathan Major's first, but not final Kang variant in the MCU, was featured in the season finale of Loki on Disney+. Fans have recently learned that Tom Hiddleston was once considered for the role of the man from the end of time, following Kang's reappearance in Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, and the effects of He Who Remains Season 1 death in Loki Season 2. Tom Hiddleston almost played Kang the Conqueror. Kevin Wright, the executive producer of Loki Season 2, acknowledged having conversations about what if Loki was He Who Remains, in an interview with Den of Geek. We just thought, He Who Remains, would be a great title for the last man standing in the multiversal war. In the writer's room, all ideas are on the table, and there were conversations about what if Loki was he who remains. It would have fit with the season's theme of facing oneself to have he who remains be a Loki, as Sylvie and Loki are both Loki variants. However, it wouldn't have been as shocking or nearly as dramatic given the large number of Lokis in season 1. The conclusion might not have been as crucial in establishing the multiverse saga and Ant-Man 3 either. Wright asserts that these conversations concerning Loki as he who remains didn't get very far, since it would have made the universe feel small. Those conversations didn't get very far. I don't think it even got to Tom Hiddleston, because while there is something fun about that, and there are compelling aspects to it, it makes the universe feel small. So, it was always going to be he who remains, always a version of Kang. Loki's continued connection with he who remains. Even while Loki's status as the last man standing in the multiversal war was ultimately rejected by Marvel, that doesn't mean he won't end up resembling he who remains in some way. In addition to proving that Lokis are survivors, he who remains offered Loki and Sylvie the chance to carry on his work in the Loki season 1 finale. After hearing the Time Lord's defense, Loki gives the idea some thought. Loki might find himself becoming more and more in line with he who remains mindset and possibly on a path to restore what Sylvie destroyed as numerous Kangs are ready to be unleashed around the multiverse. Although that is still up in the air, it is known that Loki Season 2 will have a reunion between Tom Hiddleston and Jonathan Majors when the He Who Remains actor makes a comeback as Victor Timely, another Kang variant, in subsequent episodes. It's unlikely that this will be the only time a Kang the Conqueror and the God of Mischief cross paths during the multiverse saga, given Loki's popularity on Disney+. Plus and its multiversal influence on the MCU. By the conclusion of the season, hopefully, viewers will have a better understanding of how their individual yet intertwined MCU futures. On Thursdays, Disney Plus debuts brand new episodes of Loki Season 2.